that's what makes the show so, you Aww. know, makes you go, oh. Makes it so, oh. We just, we just get on so well, don't we? Hi, my name is Kit Corner. And I'm Joe Locke. And we are answering the internet. Yay. Yay. Okay. All right. You pick out the first one. Okay. Oh my God. Jennifer Coolidge in that one video. Hi. Is I that how she says it? <laughs> I've been practicing this. Wait, do it again, do it one more time. Hi. Is that how she does it? I feel like that's how she does it. Apparently so. Like, it pans up from her dress. Do you know which one I'm talking about? I don't about? actually, I can't lie, I don't Blasphemy. actually know this. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, but but I, if it's oh, anything this. like Joe Locke and Heartstopper, then I can understand exactly what it is. And Jennifer Coolidge in season two? Oh my God, that would be a cameo, wouldn't it? That would be a cameo. Who would she play? Talk to Alice, talk to Alice. Jennifer Coolidge plays Charlie's grandma. Or oh, Cool Auntie, she's like the Cool Auntie. Besties wait, that's Kit Connor from Rocket Man, right? That's, that's me, that's me from Rocket Man. Um, Spelt my name wrong, but <laughs> I, I appreciate that it. Much. I appreciate it either way. Yeah, I'm, I was in I was in Rocket Man, and now I am in Heartstopper. The thing is, I think a lot of people are shocked by that because I had a really really serious baby face. So um, when I was in Rocket Man, I looked about twelve, but I was actually about fifteen. You know, I would. Has he called you? He called I'd me. love to say Alton called me. Um, unfortunately, I think he's very busy. To I'm be sure fair. He is. Um, but he, he hasn't tall, called. I'm still waiting. You know, my phone's always always open for, for a call from Alton John. Why not? I'm sure everyone's phone's open for a call from Alton John. Yeah, I, I guess so. Been through Heartstopper in the last 24 hours and I loved it so much. It's funny, sweet and incredibly heartwarming. The cast are all great, especially Joe Locke and Kit Connor, Ooh. who have such incredible chemistry. Just makes you go, aww, over and over. Season two, when? Question mark. That's the question. I mean, you know, we do have extremely good chemistry, we do. Joe. It's great I don't know how. Just bounce off each other. You know, we we just it's just sparks flying all the time, <laughs> and and that's the thing. So yeah. that's what that's what that's what makes the show so you know aww. makes you go. Aww. Makes it so. Oh. We just we just get on so well, don't we? Yeah. All together. Aww. Aww. Exactly. Oh wow. So this is. I'm the profile picture and the name is Kit. Um, but it says, you're telling me at the end of the day, Kit Connor, spelt wrong. again spelt wrong, that is, that's tough, <laughs> goes home knowing he has had his lips locked with Joe Locke and he can sleep. There's something Very strange about kissing with like, probably 20 people watching you. Yeah. I think it's a bit, you know. It's a clinical almost. Yeah, it's, it's a bit strange, but you know. Yeah. It's um, all choreographed. So. I slept pretty well, I think. Um, this was also April 22nd, so. They were quick, so straight on it. I want to be held the way Nick Nelson holds Charlie Spring. Yeah, Aww. I'm good at holding things and holding people, and, and that's 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 what I do. So, yeah, there's Except a lot the of there's a lot. I think because I was Kick basically getting, like, threatening to threatening drop to drop me. him, and um, and it's because he was giving me a bit too much attitude on that day, and it was the last day, and I just felt like I could really, you know, I could I could drop you in the sea right now, and and they're not going to fire me. It's the last day, so. Kit does give us hugs. Bella, or Baby Queen, said that I uh, give some of the best hugs in the world. Can we just talk about how talented Kit Connor and Joe Locke are? I mean, they did it absolutely amazingly, uh, and without a doubt, they couldn't find better Nick and Charlie. We love them so much. Thank you, guys. Aww. And it's a lovely collage of pictures. Bits with the comic. Yeah, it's great. Thank you so, so much. Thank we you. really appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, it was a whole lot of fun to film, and. So good. Yeah, we're, we're glad that people liked it. There was uh, there was one person on Twitter who mm. just um, tweeted that they they used the video of um, my character coming out to his mum as a way to come out to their parents, and I found that that was like one of the most sort of yes. um, biggest kind of pinch me moments because I think that's exactly what we really hoped would would yeah. come from the show. Um, and give people a sort of safe space and, and a sense of confidence and comfort in themselves. Um, and I think that that's, you know, that's an incredible thing to really be sweet. able to, you know. Did I tell you that when we were at the Baptist the other day, we told, we bumped into Olivia and we told her about the tweet and she started Olivia. crying. She started crying. By Olivia, he means Olivia Coleman as well. Yeah. Yeah. First name basis, of course. First name basis. Yeah. But, but yeah, the yeah. Olivia Coleman. I listened to someone reviewing the show yesterday and they were talking about how after watching it, they felt like this like melancholic feeling of sadness, not because the show is sad, but because they didn't have this show when they were younger. Ooh. 
Does Kit Connor know how much Nick Nelson means to all of us? Having a character with such healthy bisexual representation and going through that state of thinking you're broken because you don't know what's going on. I'm gonna ugly cry again, Nick is so special to me. I think really uh, sweet. That, is, that is beautiful. I think Nick is uh, extremely special to me as well. I think that he's uh, an extremely special character. I think that there's not enough you know, bisexual representation um, in mainstream media or really any kind of media. I think that especially um, queer bisexual characters, uh, male bisexual characters is, is an extremely you know, um, underrepresented kind Definitely. of character. And I, I feel like you know, it's a real pleasure to be able to bring that to the screen. Wow, please, uh, Kit Connor, please reject me so that I can move on. <laughs> um, that's really, I, I feel like, I mean, that's obviously really nice. Um, re should I reject this person? I, that's a yeah, I mean, you. listen, I, okay, just because you've asked me, um, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to answer this, to be honest. This is, because I'm too so nice for this. I'll take this as a compliment, you know. Um, but I'm also not going to reject you because I feel like that's also a bit mean. The way that Nick says the lines, kiss you, I just, I was so confused. I've just been so, so confused. It's so, give Kit Connor an Emmy, please. Wow, that, that escalated quickly. Uh, thank you. I mean, give Kit Connor an Emmy. Get it trendy. Give Joe Locke Hashtag an give Emmy. Kit Connor an Emmy. You know, Emmy. that scene's a very iconic scene in the, in the um, comics. We definitely did it in a very, in a slightly different way to, to how it is in the comics. I think mm -hmm. it's, a little bit sort of more um, drama. Yeah, dramatic in, in the show. Heartstopper bloopers when? Heartstopper interviews when? Kit Connor and Joe Locke playing with puppies when? I really don't want to disappoint people. This is the thing. I mean, so Heartstopper blooper, bloopers. Oh, who knows? There was one where I was the sports day scenes and I couldn't get my top on, so I was doing the whole scene just a bit like that. Mm. <laughs> Just There's a, there was a scene um, that I have with, uh, with Nick, Tara and Darcy. So Karina, who plays Tara, essentially says um, kissing you was how I found out that I was gay, basically. <gasps> I think I reacted to that. I think I added like an ad lib or something. I said, ouch, or something like that. And yeah, everyone started laughing. Same with puppies. Unless someone else wants to do it for if us. You, if you guys, if you guys get puppies, bring us puppies, we, we will absolutely be here. In a second. Awesome. I would miss uh, my A-levels Listen, for listen. 100%. We'll see you soon with puppies <laughs> next time. Hostel for interviews? Here we are. Inception. Right here. We're right here. I feel my mental health would benefit a lot from a Nick Nelson hug. Again, that's that's the hug. That's the hug that's we're the talking hug. about. I think, um, yeah, I think he's kind of, you know, famous for giving hugs. So, he just looks like he'd give good hugs. Thank you. Wow. Joe Locke is so soft. Why is this man the literal embodiment of the sun? The sun. Wow. I'll take that. I think that's a pretty good, you know, you're, he, he's just very cute. As in, in like the, the sun from the Teletubbies, like the baby and the smiley face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll take I think that. when you, I think there was this, there's this one bit in the show where it's actually quite an emotional moment where I'm like, you know, people should, you were saying that you, you know, you're used to people being mean to you and things like that, and I'm saying that you shouldn't be. And I think I was watching it with, um, with a friend of mine. And they just was like, yeah, Joe looks so cute right now because you're just doing the puppy eyes and things like that. So yeah, Joe is, is just so soft. You know, he's so, so soft. Well, thank you for watching us answer the internet. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to stream Heartstopper on Netflix. Right now. Go do it right now. Right now. Stop what you're doing and just watch it. <laughs> it is. It's radio.